I've always been interested in the topic of regeneration and how animals are able to replace lost limbs or heal damaged tissue. And I've always wondered whether or not we can find ways that humans can also gain these abilities. You can always find answers in textbooks when you are growing up. Uh, there comes a point where you simply cannot find the answers anymore and that is really the entry into research or R&D. When I was a kid, I often break things and I realised I couldn't fix them. So this prompted me to look for answers in science and technology. And today, I'm able to not just fix broken things but also create new devices. My work deals with the molecular controls of stem cells and I'm interested in understanding how stem cells are controlled in hair and sebaceous glands. So many of us suffer from common skin diseases such as acne and hair loss. Although there are many methods and treatments in the market, they don't really tackle the root of the problem as we don't fully understand their causes. So we have developed new ways to grow artificial skin and skin organs and this lets us see how the stem cells are behaving in intact tissue and know how they're controlled so that we can use that information to discover new medicines. Our work has attracted the interest of major industry players who want to partner with us to develop new medicines as well as skincare products. I believe that many diseases are caused by problems in stem cells. By studying the fundamentals biology of stem cells and skin tissue, I hope to eliminate skin problems one day. So my work deals with microRNAs, an uh, important part of how our DNA controls our cells and protein production. It's a relatively new field of study and I've developed a method for studying uh, microRNAs on a large scale called ribosome profiling. We also study how virus infection translation is uh, affected in hand, foot and mouth disease. Uh, so my son uh, came down with it before and uh, there was nothing much uh, I could do. So as a mother, I know the pain that children have to go through and as a scientist, I want to know how uh, the infection works um, it has no cure uh, as yet or vaccine and I aim to change that. When doing outreach uh, in schools, I realised that I have become a role model to many of the aspiring young scientists. So I never tried to be one, but I've helped to show them that you can be both a scientist and a mother. Well, the human skin provides very important sensory feedback information for you to survive, play, create and interact seamlessly with the environment. So I've created materials for electronic skin that can enable it to self-heal repeatedly and also to flex and stretch just like human skin. Today, the problems we are trying to solve are increasingly more complex and requires a multidisciplinary approach to solve. While trying to recreate a complex system such as human skin requires us to learn from different domains. Working with other disciplines allows us to come up with more creative solutions and therefore I set up a company called Privy Medical to solve unmet clinical needs that people have not been able to address. So when I see my ideas being tried and tested and worked, that gives me great satisfaction. Having benefited from the ASA scholarship program, I want to give back to society as much as I can. I'm a firm believer in education, and I think that like stem cells, our young people have tremendous potential in them. Our science is both frustrating and fun at the same time. You fail a lot, but I think if you're persistent, you're able to create breakthrough technologies that can really impact people. Because this is what science is about. You never know what you find, and then that might lead to something really useful and explosive down the road. <laughs>